Hey, what is up guys? Masterly Gaming here. In this video, I'm just going to I'm going to be as you can tell by this title, I'm going to be talking about the um the Percy Harvin to the Jets trade. I know this came out a few days ago, but I haven't covered it. In fact, I might be starting a new series that's um basically my thoughts. I I might call it like Masterly Gaming's thoughts or something like that. I don't know. But I'm going to um it's going to be a series about my thoughts and probably just going to ramble on for a few minutes about things that are happening in this uh in this time in the nfl or maybe in just life period that has to do with you know life that all people are affected by or just you know just news and random stuff all right i'm already rambling making no sense and just quick real quick i know that i say this in a lot of videos but my brother and sister are kind of loud so just ignore it as much as you can all right so back to business the percy harvin to the jets trade now i don't know very much about it but what i do know is that Percy Harvin apparently he um he was causing some trouble in the Seahawks locker room, but um, I mean I can understand where they traded, but seriously, they don't have very many good receivers. I mean they have nobody that is really that good. They have good people, but they, I mean now that Doug now that Golden Tate's gone, and then now that Percy Harvin's gone, I mean, Gold, uh, Doug Baldwin, Jermaine Curse, I don't see many of those guys actually you know, being number one receivers, you know. I mean, somebody has to be the number one receiver, but I don't see any of those guys actually, you know, standing up to the job of a number one receiver. So, yeah. Um, my thoughts, though, are that the Jets, um, they signed Chris Johnson in the offseason, and then they also signed Michael Vick. Now, Michael Vick is off of his prime, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about, I think the Jets are definitely the winner in this area, in this trade, because... You know, the Jets are starting to look a little bit better now. Their defense is okay. They got good offense. Jay Samaro, um, uh, Chris Ivory, who's the power back, and then they got a speed back with um, Chris Johnson. So they have a mixture between power and speed, so that's always good. And they're yelling again. My brother and sister are yelling again. And then they have, I said Jay Samaro, I think. And then they have, um, uh, they don't have Santonio Holmes anymore, do they? I don't know. Um, so, yeah, they have a good offense with uh, Geno Smith and Michael Vick. They're a good duo. So, and now that they got Percy Harvin, as long as Percy Harvin isn't, like, being a bully in the Jets' locker room, I think um, the Jets might, maybe this season or next season. The thing is, though, they, um, they only have him for the contract, which is the rest of this year and then all of next year. And then he's a free agent unless, um, unless the Jets re-sign him. So, sorry, my, my shirt is just for, like, I don't know, whatever. So, yeah, um, the Jets are probably, get, the Jets definitely won in that trade as long as Percy Harvin doesn't, you know, act like a bully in the Jets locker room, which honestly is not a good idea. If you're in the NFL and you're being a bully, you're going to get kicked out pretty easily unless you're, like, Calvin Johnson or something, which Calvin Johnson's actually pretty, he's... He's modest, it's a, which is good, you know. He's not super full of himself like Richard Sherman is or something, you know. And Richard Sherman got exposed, in my opinion, up against Des Bryant, you know. So, yeah. Those are my thoughts on the Jets, Percy Harvin trade. And so, yeah. I have been talking about other stuff in this thing, too. So, um, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And if you have anything you want me to talk about in my next one of these... I'm not sure what I'm going to call yet, but once I figure it out, um, just give me some ideas on what you want me to call it. And, I mean, not what do you want me to call it. What do you want me to talk about in one of these, you know? I can do some research, look it up, and then talk to you about it, you know? All right. So, thanks. Masterly Gaming, out.